tell you that I love you. How do you further improve your life? Actually, let me scratch that. How do you further improve your work life? Other than work life balance, I think maybe having a workspace that's properly set up can help. This one is mine, right next to my girlfriend's, of course, who's an accountant. I'm not an accountant per se, but I'm a software developer, or used to be, anyways, sort of. Um, you know what? Let me tell you guys how my desk works for me. Starting with the lighting. I apologize. Let me just get rid of all this stuff. If I may, if there's one thing I can a thousand percent recommend is to work on your lighting. Lighting within space is everything, so much that it can drive your mood. And you don't necessarily need to spend the craziest amount of money on it. I think a corner light to add character to a room is great, but beyond that, a screen monitor lamp, I think those are unbeatable. Mine is actually from Quintus. $80 I spent on it. The day I had set this up, I was already starting to regret spending $250 on my BenQ light bar at the office. The connection in the back for this one is the same with USB-C. I like the glow this can output overhead. It was extremely easy to install and for a brand that's not as reputable as BenQ, for the money, it's great. I mean, look at it. This is what $80 can get you nowadays. And the cable management is so neat. To keep that neat, I did connect that to the back of my monitor, so as long as that's on, I can control this with this wireless adjustable controller it came with. The fusion test, 45 degrees. I can change the brightness, and it won't change a thing. 45 degrees stays, and even the temperature. Absolutely lovely. It's a great product. Honestly, sometimes it's not worth overthinking things. I've realized that the simplest of things sometimes tend to be the most effective. This year, my groove meet stand in White Oak. So what's the story with this? For the longest time, I thought I was eventually going to get a custom PC for this space. Finally, it's not what I want. This past year, this has seen more laptops than anything else, so I wanted a proper stand with proper wood, something with felt and proper materials, and you know something that would also allow me to hide goodies. So I decided to dock my MacBook within GrooveMate's laptop riser. The Mac Mini complements that, making this overall a desk I mainly use for admin work and programming. I think the whole productivity aesthetic gives that away. Most of my group made pieces like my mouse mat, my desk pads, the coasters, the pen I used to write on their notebooks, everything has been thought out as a space to deliver functionality. And that also includes my drawers. Proper drawers for me go a long way. I've been finally able to organize them the way I've been wanting to. These desk trays from GrooveMate actually come in all sizes, small, medium, large. I love it. I think these light trays go very well with their new oak collection. And so that's how all of this comes together. All of it sits on this custom IKEA white marble countertop. I've basically attached it to a set of standing legs from Ergon Office. Um, look, I'm having a standing desk is marvelous. On the days I use it, it comes in handy, especially because I can stand up and within a small room like ours, it makes space between each other. It's not a must to have, but it really helps getting your butt off a chair. You can go as far as getting a walking pad for your desk if you want. But the point I'm trying to make is that as a whole, with the way I've cable organized this desk, my custom standing desk acts as a single unit. It provides me with comfort, ease of use and proper functionality. So if I want to use multiple laptops within, I can. If I want to go back to the Mac mini, I can. If I want to install a gaming console, I can. One wire makes all of this work. This one wire actually connects all of my peripherals, believe it or not. And this one wire connects my Xbox. Check this out with one single button. I can change to the Xbox and then I click again and it'll go back to the MacBook. I should probably rephrase how all of that works. A few days ago, my genius self decided to rewire this whole desk, all of it because I wanted a cleaner way to connect everything, which is why I got this, the BenQ DP1310 hybrid dock replacing my sandisk unit this came with all the necessary cables all the necessary ports driver installation instructions to 
make it all work. So I connected my peripherals, the HDMI cable that was going to connect to my console, used this massive brick to power this hub up and installed the drivers. That's it. This tiny little box powers everything like it should. I think the only thing that I really hate is the fact it doesn't offer proper KVM. I would have loved for those peripheral ports to be active as I cycle between the green HDMI port and the USB-C port. Aside from all that, I mean, the front has got plenty of ports, including a USB-C at 36 watts I often use to charge a phone. I'm not a fan though of the fact that it doesn't have an SD card slot, but I figured how to connect the module much later on with the help of an anchor hub actually. Listen, if you ever are in a pinch, like let's say your hub is completely out of ports and you don't know what to do, grab yourself some Gorilla Tape, get yourself a USB hub and slap it under your desk. This is exactly how you increase functionality. Get yourself something like a 4-in-1 anchor hub, like that when you have that single USB port left within your dock, you use that to extend your connections. I did find it a bit tricky having all these cables in the back, having to route them all and making sure I could properly hide them, but for a setup to be minimal, cable management has to be treated like an art of itself. I mean, you could, well, not exactly, but sort of. You see, cable management is all about being effective. You want a clean way to route and hide cables, and things don't have to necessarily look like a server rack. The secret behind a good cable management solution is the relationship between a cable management organizer and the place you decide to connect those cables. Within that relationship, you can cheat, figuratively. Okay, what I mean is that you can get something like a cable management net. Amazon would be the perfect place to find one, but in short, these allow you to minimize the amount of zip ties, cable print holders, 3M tape, and so on that you would need, especially because these come in so handy when it comes to hiding massive power bricks. With time, I've also learned to use the arm bracket mounts to route cables through it quite a lot. This tends to avoid them flopping down and it keeps them straight behind the table, practically eliminates them from your eyesight. And a proper cable management solution always has sweet pockets, like pockets to route cables back and forward to really take advantage of that power bar. I actually decided to extend the power bar with a proper outlet from Anchor. I actually bought this 12 outlet power surge protector strip from Anchor, but what is cool about it is what it has to offer just beyond that. And I got fast charging, charging the phone. Just that for me is awesome. Just having the cable away from my desk, running underneath, charging the phone, it's great. So this is a 12 AC outlet, one USB-C port and two USB-A ports power outlet. It does come with some mounting screws, but I decided to use some Gorilla Tape to install it and call it a day. The USB-C port is actually a 20 watt port, so be mindful of that. It's much better than both of the 12 watt USB-A ports this offers. I'll say the same thing about those on my on-desk power outlet I have from Ergon Office. After owning and building so many desks throughout the years, there's no such thing as too many outlets. I really like having enough outlets in order to be able to plug anything whenever, especially the on-desk outlet. This one here always allows me to plug things that maybe have a shorter reach to them. I've always told myself, never will I ever take power outlets for granted. The same thing goes with practicality, practicality and usability. Listen, I'm really trying to declutter my desks as much as I can. Sometimes it's hard because I use a lot of it, but on my end, I've always liked to dial my space with some wooden accessories, especially white oak. It's the latest Groovemate collection that goes so well with my tabletop and the overall theme of this room. I remember last year when I decided to build this setup, I was a bit overwhelmed with the amount of things I could get from Groovemate. I wanted it all. This year though, I'm a bit more careful because I want proper usability out of everything. Like my desk at work, it has the desk shelf system, helps me store all kinds of things, compartmentalize usability and hide wires. It has my pen cup holder that allows me to have pens at an arm's reach. And the same thing goes with my catch-all shelf, which um, 
I use and abuse. Jan too, I mean he's got all sorts of little accessories that make sense for his workflow, things he actually uses and they aren't there for pure decoration. And so that's why I try to do as much as I can at home. Every single piece that sits here as of now has its purpose and I've just recently done the same thing with my girlfriend's setup. I upgraded her note taking kit with a small double sided notepad that gets used along a display rail to hold some notes and a vertical organizer that stores and sorts your notes when you no longer need them in plain sight. So yeah I mean minimalism is always the goal but practicality is essential. I personally try to adopt this concept as much as I can. I think my MacBook Air knows that. I recently installed this slip drive on it which holds drives with ease. Think of it as a travel pocket pouch for your SSD. It really is something I wish I had with me when uh, I went to Manchester. As for the cleaning, an occasional clean helps. My best friend is the Swiffer. This acts as a duster, but sometimes it's not the most ideal tool to use for tricky situations. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I use the vacuum a lot as well. But when it comes to cleaning things like keyboards or a mouse, I mean, uh, good luck. For $18, I was able to find this off Amazon a cleaning kit it doesn't only clean my keyboard but it's able to clean my screen my earbuds my camera lens my phone it did come with some extra pads and a cleaning cloth on the side in case you may need it but it didn't come with some extra liquid which is a bummer because i'm already running out of it although filling it up with some whoosh liquid can do the trick i think when you take a look at the big picture these are the things that really tend to make an impact on a desk functionality goes hand in hand with looks and then after that well i mean after that you can do whatever you want i really just wanted to show you and give you some ideas of how you can actually make an impact to your desk there's nothing like having a proper working space that makes life a lot easier and maybe a bit more enjoyable i'll see you guys next sunday with a new day in the life take care cheers